Hey guys, it's Phase One once again with another weekly uplink of Star Citizen news for the past week. If you're new to this channel, we do all kinds of Star Citizen content, so please do consider subscribing for more. I also stream every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So if you like to hang out or if you have any questions, you can find my links down below. And without any further ado, let's get started. This week in Inside Star Citizen, CIG has been working on non-lethal weapons and gadgets that will go along with salvage, repair, breach, and medical gameplay. These non-lethal weapons are essentially waiting for their associated systems to be available in-game. So this will allow CIG to ship them out with their associated gameplay. The multi-tool healing attachment would allow you to fire on a target player or NPCs to heal them by applying a gel. In addition, it will provide a UI readout which will contextually display any long-lasting injuries the individual may not be aware of. This will then allow other healing tools to come into play to assist in fully healing an individual. Because it's a modular piece, they want players to be able to identify what its purpose is at first glance. The healing attachment will have a syringe and a swappable canister which holds the healing serum. The multi-tool salvage attachment allows for salvage and repair. Salvaging entails stripping the hull and storing the material in a canister. The material can then be sold or it can be used to repair. Repairing is essentially the reverse of the salvage mechanic. They're also working on a dedicated medical gun called the Cure Life Medical Gun. This will, this will display the same information that the multi-tool attachment has but will provide additional functions like the option to apply specific drugs. Another dedicated tool is a Grey Cat Tractor Beam. This tool essentially does the same thing as the multi-tool attachment currently in-game, but it will be a lot more powerful with a much bigger battery. They're exploring the ideas of possibly making it push, pull faster, or even grapple from a much greater distance. Up next is the Grey Cat Cutting Tool. This will be a more powerful version of the multi-tool cutting attachment. It'll be able to cut through materials quicker and capable of cutting through denser materials with a much bigger battery capacity. The Baron Door Breach Charge is an FPS deployable which is strictly used to breach doors. They're making an effort to make sure that it follows the same style guides of Baron. The Ultiflex Crossbow is a cool stealth weapon. This weapon is unique as it will be undetectable as opposed to other weapons in game. Ultiflex is essentially a new manufacturer in game. I'm quite digging their style guide. I look forward to seeing more about this in the future. They also gave us some insight on the new asteroid expected in the upcoming patch 3.13. The old asteroid textures were using old tech. These new asteroids look very cool and realistic. They intend to create variations of asteroids. These asteroids will have nooks and crannies to allow for interesting gameplay like hiding. Very exciting. In 3.13 these asteroids will be found in Lagrange points. So which non-lethal FPS weapons are you most excited for? Let me know in the comments below. If there's anything in this video that you like, make sure to leave me a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more. I will see you on the next one.